Now we'll discuss how to find out the square root of a problem taking some few examples here. Okay, now see here. First of all, suppose if I want to find out a square, the square root of four digit number 1156, 1156. See, to tell the square root of it any triple digit number, it is very easy. Why? Because it comes under 30 squares. But to find out the square root of a number which is a four digit or five digit which is beyond 30 squares it will be little difficult but here we, can, we are going to solve, find out the square roots of the numbers either it is four digit or five digit in very very easier ways now clearly observe first of all what is the first step of the finding a square root of a number first step is first of all from the right side you need to make the number partition into two two digits what is the first step of finding a square root make the number partition okay from the right side into two two digits suppose there are four digits from the right side first to divide two digits then go for two digits that is the first step of finding a square root second step right so anyhow uh, after uh, partitioning the number okay from the right side this is the first partition and this is the second partition for us okay if you see from the right side now Suppose, what is the second step? First of all, look at the end digit of the look at the end digit of the square number. What is the end digit of the square number? Or I can say again ask like this. So the square number which is given under the root is ending in which digit? Ending in six. Yes or no? If a square number is ending in six, its square root should end in either four or six. So my answer should end with either four or 6 yes or no now one blank is going to be left beside that number to the left side why because this is my ending numbers these are either 4 or 6 are my ending numbers of the answer that is square root numbers okay now we have to find out what is the left side part of the answer to find out the left side part of the answer okay go for the second partition of the given square number what is the second partition here 11 yes or no first of all you tell me uh, 11 11 comes between which square numbers 11 comes between which square numbers it comes between 3 square and 4 square yes or no 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 so 11 comes between 3 square and 4 square but remember one thing the left of blank which you are going to get in the answer okay that is always filled with the lower square number out of 3 square and 4 square what is the lower square 3 square so the left side part should always filled with the lower number that is 3 so now my answer is either 34 or 36 my answer is either 34 or 36 okay now how to find out which is the right answer among these two see I got two possibilities one should be either 34 and another should be either 36 out of these two how to find out the possibilities right possibility or how to find out the right answer now how to find out now see here now you tell me uh, between 34 and 36 or otherwise I can say take this one 3 and 4 3 and 4 that means between which squares we have 3 and 4 take the product of 3 and 4 what is product of 3 and 4 okay 3 4 is a 12 yes or no now compare this second partition number 11 okay with 12 compare 11 with 12 okay is 11 that means second partition number is 11 greater than 12 or less than 12 is it greater than 12 or less than 12 less than 12 yes or no the 11 is less than 12 that means well if it is less than the product of the two square numbers okay the answer will be lesser value if it is greater than then the answer is greater value so out of these two my answer will be the lesser value which is lesser value 34 or 36 34 so obviously this is my answer and this cannot be understand so one more time i am going to explain first of all what is the first step to find out the square root make the number okay into partitions from the right side two two digits why because 
see square means to the power of 2 yes or no that's why we are making 2 to this partition from the right side and that is the first step now what is the second step check go to the second partition that is the left side part of the number 11 11 comes between which squares 3 square and 4 square yes or no but my left side part of the answer always should be filled with le lesser number only that is how much 3 so my answer is either 34 or 36 to find out which is the right one either 34 or 36 how to find out okay to get that one multiply the value 3 and 4 that means between which squares it got 3 and 4 right so multiply 3 and 4 how much 12 this 12 will be compared with the main number that is 11 so compare 11 with the product which we got 3 and 3 into 4 is 11 greater than 12 or less than 12 less than 12 only yes or no is the second partition number lesser than the product or greater than the product it is lesser than the product yes or no that's why always the lesser number will be my answer if it is greater than the number greater than the product then my answer will be greater number but here it is lesser so my answer is lesser number that is for the 34 now we'll do the second one in the same way first of all make a partition 4 2304 okay make a partition 2d is 2d is this is my first partition second partition if a number the square number is ending in 4 the, so the square number is ending in 4 the square should end in see here 2 or 8 so my answer should end in 2 or 8 with a blank left in the left side okay now come to the second partition 23 23 comes between which square it comes between 4 square and 5 square yes or no it comes between 4 square and 5 square now you can see suppose for example but okay before that one always the left to blank is should be filled with which number lesser number only that is 4 so my answer should be either 42 or 48 so how to find out which is the right answer either 42 or 48 just multiply these two digits in between which the number falls okay the second partition falls between 4 and 5 right so multiply those two 4 into 5 that is 20 now compare the second partition number with the product which we got 20 so is 23 greater than 20 or lesser than 20 once again is 23 okay compare with 20 greater than 20 or lesser than 20 it is greater than 20 yes sir no if it is greater than 20 then greater number will be your answer that is 48 will be my answer but not 42 if it is lesser than product means then it will be lesser so like that what we need to do we have to solve the square roots and one more thing i will solve one more problem for you start from the right side okay suppose here two digits and whenever it is five digits what is my best suggestion whenever whenever you are finding the five digit number square root okay you better first do the partition for two digits and go for the remaining three digits at a time take all the remaining three digits at a time it will be much better okay now so first of all what is the first condition the second condition second step the square number is ending in five so the square root also ends in five only there is one possibility right now come to the second partition 156 156 falls between 12 square and 13 square yes or no 12 square and 13 square but the left side part of the answer always be filled with lesser number only that is 12 so my answer is 125 that's it as simple as like that why because here we got two possibilities but here 5 is on engine only 5 yes or no so we, will, we are going to get easily this one without any possibilities directly i can say the answer is 125 now what you do take a pass on the video take a pass on the video and solve these three values these three uh, square roots find out the square roots of these three numbers okay and check the answers after pass okay take a pass right now see here what are the answers for this one i will solve you solve it first okay so first of all first what is the first step make a partition of the two digits two two numbers the square number is ending in nine those so the square root should end in either three or 
7 okay now come to the uh, second partition what is the third step come to the second partition 44 comes between which squares 6 square and 7 square yes or no 6 square 36 7 square 49 so 44 comes between 6 square and 7 square right now now you tell me 44 okay uh, anyhow the left side part should always be filled with smaller number only that is 60 3 so my answer should be either 63 or 67 okay fine now you tell me either of these two which is the right one 63 or 67 now simply multiply the border square numbers between which we got this second partition 6 7 is how much okay 6 into 7 how much 42 now you compare with the second partition number 44 is 44 greater than 42 or less than 42 it is greater than 42 greater means okay if you are comparing the second partition number with the product of those two square numbers which are at the border okay check okay if at all the second partition number is greater than the product obviously greater number will be your answer so here it is greater so that will be 67 not 63 okay coming to this one take two digits and the remaining three digits four nine nine com comes between three or seven okay so 691 comes between uh, how much it is Com uh, 26 square and 27 square okay but always the square number is filled with smaller number that is 263 and 267 now how to find out the which is the right answer either 263 or 267 so what you need to go for you need to go for okay product of 26 and 27 what is the product of 26 and 27 how to calculate fast i know already 26 square yes or no what is 26 square if i want to find out 26 into 27 okay easily i will do one thing what is the 26 square 676 for 676 add one more 26 then it will become 26 into 27 for 676 add one more 26 so 676 plus 26 answer is 702 so the product is 702 now compare 691 with 702 691 is less than or greater than 702 it is less than 702 that is less than product so obviously my answer is lesser one not the greater one got it next similarly 2 d's and the remaining 3 d's last uh, the square number is ending in 1 so the square root should end in 1 or 9 okay now 524 524 comes between which squares between uh, 23 square and 24 square yes or no okay so 23 and 24 now but the left blank is always filled with 23 so my answer is 231 or 239 how to find out which is the right answer so just go for the product of 23 and 24 so product of 23 and 24 how much i know already 23 square see how to find out 23 into 24 i know i know already 23 square is 529 so for 529 just add one more 23 to get 23 into 24 529 plus 23 it is 552 so 550 now you compare the second partition number 524 with 552 is 524 greater than 552 or lesser than 552 lesser than 552 obviously my answer is lesser number but not the higher number so like this we can find out the square roots of any four digit or five digit number for the perfect squares only but remember to find out the square roots easily it is mandatory to know until 30 squares to remember to buy hat until 30 squares okay now now we'll go to the our next topic that is cube roots how to find out the cube roots very easily